Today, we're going to show you how you can use the Garmin Companion application stream up for the Garmin Instinct eSports watch. The application enables you to include real-time body metrics from your watch into video game streams and recordings. To begin, we will be using a third-party streaming tool application. These are usually free software platforms that are mainly used by streamers and content creators. In this video, we will be assuming that you already have a basic knowledge of these types of applications. Once your streaming tool application is installed and set up, you will see a layout similar to what you see on screen now. The background would show the game being played with the streamer in the lower right corner. Next, open the Garmin Stream Up application. If you do not already have the application, you can go to the download link below. When you open the application for the first time, you will need to accept the terms and conditions. Here, the application will search for your Instinct eSports watch. In order for the application to find your watch, you will need to start the eSports activity on your watch. On the watch, press the GPS button to open the activity list. Then select eSports by pressing the GPS button a second time. Now the StreamUp application will list your watch. If you do not see your watch, make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and click on the refresh button. Then select your watch and click OK to proceed. Once you have connected the watch, you will see the main screen of the StreamUp application. This is where we will configure what and how you want to show your body metric data. You will get a choice of three different values, heart rate, stress, and body battery. On the right side, we have a little preview window that gives you an idea of what it will look like. Keep in mind that the actual portioning and resizing happens in the streaming tool. In this example, you can choose to show heart rate, stress, and body battery or you can choose to only show one or two of these selectable values. Then you can choose how you want to show this data. You have different variants available. For example, if you want to position it here at the bottom, you can choose this one here on the left side. You can also customize the font and background colors. This is all that is needed to get started for a simple data overlay section. You can toggle the background color to see how the data will look on both lighter and darker backgrounds. Once you are happy with the look, click Create Overlay. Then, a small controls menu window will appear. As a helpful tip, if you click Close, it will take you back to the full menu. The other small window above the controls menu is our important values window. It has a green background so that we can get a green screen effect. This creates transparency in the streaming tool. Now we will add the StreamUp window to the streaming tool. In the streaming tool application, click the plus under sources. Then select window capture. Here we will name the window capture values. On the next screen, the window should be automatically selected to stream up values. If not, you can select it from the drop down menu. It is also important to set the window match priority to window title must match. This will allow your streaming tool application to automatically find the window when you start the application again and you will not need to set it back up. Then click OK. Now the value window will be present within your streaming tool application where you can position or resize it. You will also notice that the body metric data is live, but your background is still green. To change this, right click on the value window. Select Filters at the bottom. Now click on the plus on the bottom left and select Chroma Key, then OK to finish. Here you can adjust the value window's opacity, contrast, and more. Once this is set to your preference, select Close. Back on the main screen of your streaming tool application, we can reposition and resize the value data. From here, you can choose Start Streaming to begin your stream showing real-time Garmin data. If you decide that you want to change the data, open the Controls menu and click Close to open the full Stream Up window. You can easily select a different style of layout or change the values as we completed earlier. Now that we have our data all set up, we can go a step further by adding overlays. For example, on the right side, there are a set of thresholds for heart rate, stress, and body battery. If we selected the broken heart for the heart rate overlay and the user's heart rate goes above 100, it would show on the video stream. Once the heart rate drops below the threshold, the image would be removed. 
For both heart rate and stress, the user would need to go above the threshold to display the overlay, while the body battery would need to go below the threshold. Now we can set the overlay images and thresholds. First, choose the icon that you would like to display and then set the threshold. Repeat this for each overlay that you would like to display. You can also use the hotkey selection to trigger video filters or sound effects from other third-party applications. To include the overlays into your stream, click Create Overlay. You will notice that we now have more small windows for each threshold. In this video, we will show you the process for setting up one of the thresholds, as the process would be the same for each one. Now we will go back into your streaming tool application to set up the heart rate threshold window data into your streaming tool. In the streaming tool application, click the plus under sources. Then select window capture. Here, we will name our window capture heart rate. On the next screen, we will need to change the window selection to heart rate from the drop down menu. As previously mentioned, it is also important to set the window match priority to window title must match. This will allow your streaming tool application to automatically find the window when you start the application again and you will not need to set it back up. Then click OK. Back on the main screen of the streaming tool application, we can reposition and resize the overlay. Next, right click on the value window. Select filters at the bottom. Again, click on the plus on the bottom left and select chroma key, then OK. Once the image settings are to your preference, select Close. An important note here is that the threshold image will automatically display by default to allow us to position it. Once you have found a home for all of the images, we need to disable the overlay preview on the controls window by selecting Off. You can toggle this back on later to reposition the images. Next, let's set up an animated frame that will display every time a threshold is triggered. To begin, we need to reopen the full stream up menu by selecting close in the controls window. Under the animated frame section, select the check mark to enable it. You may also change the frame color and thickness using the on-screen selections. Once done, select create overlay to set up the frame in your streaming tool application. Follow the same steps we completed before to add the image to sources. Now that your frame is added, you can position it to your preference. Another tip here is you can hold the shift key to stretch the frame. Once you are done, you can click start streaming to begin your stream showing real-time Garmin data. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, visit support.garmin.com.